Hi, what's up everyone? In today's video, I'll show you how you can drastically reduce the size of your PowerPoint presentation. If you're not interested in the intro and want to jump straight into the techniques, you can skip to this timeline here. So PowerPoint files can get pretty large these days. With both image and video resolutions getting higher and higher, it just takes several images and video clips to take a file from what should be a couple of megabytes to more than a couple of hundred. With most of us presenting and sharing files over the internet and not presenting in an office using large monitors or projectors, it makes sense to reduce the quality of the video and images and keep the file size small. So in this video, I'll show you two techniques to drastically reduce the PowerPoint file size. Here we have an extreme example. It's a very large presentation file that is over a gig in size. Let's open it up. You can see that this presentation has 200 slides and many of them have images. Any slide with an asterisk indicates there's an embedded video file. So we see that there are a few of those as well. Before we compress the file, let's try to understand why the file is so large in the first place. Let's look at one of these photos. At first glance, you might think that there are just four small photos and shouldn't take up much space. But let's actually look at the size properties for one of these images. Right click on an image and choose format pictures, then size and properties. You can see that this image has been scaled down to 14% of its original size. Even though the image has been scaled down, PowerPoint is retaining the original image at its full size. I'm going to zoom out of the slide and click on reset. You'll see how large the original size is. Now imagine every single image in your presentation are these high resolution images that have been scaled down. Now you can understand the reason for the large file size. It's the same for video. Let's go to slide 8, click on the video, then format video, then to size and properties. The video size has been scaled down by 50%. By simple logic, we can theoretically bring the video size up to 100% and reduce the video resolution by half without losing any quality. Now let's look at another example. We have an image that has been cropped. If we select the image, go to format, and choose the crop button, it'll reveal the deleted section. Again, even though the section is not being shown on the slide, PowerPoint retains the info, keeping the original file size. Alright, so how do we fix this? First, select any image you have in the presentation, it doesn't matter which one. Go to format and compress picture. Uncheck the box that says apply to this picture only as you want this to apply to all of the pictures that you have in the presentation. Also make sure that the second box is checked to ensure that the cropped areas are deleted. For picture resolution, I think 220 ppi is a good compromise between quality and size. Especially if you plan to share the presentation through a webcast like Zoom or Teams. Now, let's check back on the previous image that was scaled down to 14%. If we look in the size property, it no longer shows that it's scaled down, as it's deleted the original file size and kept the compressed version only. The second technique I'll show you now applies to compressing video files only. Go to the File tab, then choose the Info section. You'll notice there's an option for Compress Media. Again, if you're sharing the presentation through a webcast like Teams or Zoom's meeting, 480p is actually the best option because it reduces lags and stutters that can occur during the video stream. The file size doesn't refresh right away within the application, so let's exit out of the file and check the size showing in the file explorer. 
If you recall, the original file size was over a gig. Now it's literally a quarter of that size. So those are the two simple things you can do to compress your file size in PowerPoint. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And be sure to check out some of my other videos on productivity. Thanks and bye now.